All right. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday evening. So normally I do a live stream Friday nights, but uh, yesterday it didn't pan out. So I thought we would go on and we would we would do a live stream tonight and we would do a uh, we would do a hunt here on Way of the Hunter. Um, it does seem like that the Call of the Wild, the angler, is kind of overtaking all the content creators. And there's not been a lot of Way of the Hunter content on. So uh, I'm, I'm totally dedicated to this game at the moment. And uh, we're going to talk about Call of the Wild, the Angler, as well. So, Ray, how's it going, man? Glad to see you here. Thanks for leaving that first like. I appreciate it. Um, so, one thing I want to do today, we're going to select a territory. We're going to go to Transylvania. But I want to change the difficulty because there's been a talk in the community that Somehow the game, the devs kind of screwed up. So the adventurer, so we have explorer and adventurer, hunter and ranger. So it seems like the hunter and the adventurer got swapped. So the adventurer difficulty level is what I'm on right now. This is actually supposed to be the hunter. And the hunter is actually supposed to be adventure. So the hunter level is actually easier. So we're going to test that out tonight. And um, if that's the case, it doesn't matter because I'm going to keep it on Adventurer until the developers fix that, and then we'll we'll bump it up to Hunter. But I actually like the more difficult. But just for the hell of it, we're gonna we're gonna see what the uh, the Hunter difficulty is like if it is any easier. So we're gonna apply that. It'll move your character back into the lodge. No, well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's go to Transylvania. See if we can't get some red deer. Now, I don't want to spoil anything because our first two videos of the week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, are hunting Transylvania for red deer. Um, I'm going to say, guys, I would urge you to check those videos out when they come out. Those are a couple of really cool videos. Okay, so here we are back at the lodge, and hmm, I kind of don't want to give any spoilers in here, so yeah. You guys caught maybe just a little glimpse of that. Maybe you missed it, but that's okay. Let's go in here because we need to see what we have. Maybe change up our gear a little here. All right, so I did get a new gun. I got this one here, the Styro Pro 100, the 243 Win Mag. Um, I don't... That's a Tier 5. So, I really don't know if I want to take this one. I think we're going to, I think we're going to bring the 338 with us for the Red Deer. And let's see here. Welcome back, Ray. That's understandable. So, let's take a look at the attachments here. How much is... Ooh, we don't have enough for that. We definitely don't have enough for that. Okay. So maybe that'll be something we'll uh, we'll work our way up to. Um, gear. Okay, so what do we have? Let's bring the Red Deer Caller with us. Maybe we'll try to level this up today as well. So I think that's good. I think we're good to go. And, oh, where does this, can we, yeah, I think we could probably leave here from here. Very cool. I did not know you could do that. All right, so we got all of our gear together. We need to check the time. It's 1020 a.m. Uh, let's go back. Shot your first five-star mule deer? Nice, man. Love to hear that. I'm actually loving the fact that when uh, when people are playing this game going on hunts, there's just, like, these awesome stories attached to it. You know, I actually love that about the game. So, let's, uh... Yeah, why not? You know what? We're just going to go a whole day here. So, for people that are on PC, 
There are some bugs with the new patch, the, the new patch they have, but uh, they released a beta patch, which is pretty cool because I've seen people in the community on Discord actually saying that, you know, they should uh, they should do a beta patch. And, uh, yeah, they did. And it seems like uh, the new patch that they have out is working pretty good, but they don't have one live yet. And they had a patch supposedly for console, but I'm hoping they kind of reverted that, took it out so they can fix everything. But as of right now, we don't have the update, so the game is working fine. So we're going to travel here. All right. Beautiful morning. Now, what I want to do... I want to work my way up in here, up through this valley. See what's up in here. That is the plan for today, anyway. Let's equip our binoculars. Oh, let's just let the uh, vegetation kind of pop in here. So, like I say, there's still a lot of optimizations that this game needs, but overall... It's uh, it's not really bothering me. It's not bothering me in the least. So one thing they did with the uh, the update, whenever we get it, this here, the hunter sense, they've reduced a lot of this blur. Like it's still a little blurry around the edges, but nowhere near as uh, as obscene as this. They introduced the FOV slider, which I know a lot of people um, wanted. I feel like that's more on the PC side since you know we don't really get a lot of that stuff. On console anyway and the FOV really doesn't bother me in this game I mean I guess it could be pulled back a little but part of the problem with that patch on PC is that when they change the FOV slider they're losing FPS big time so they're uh, they're working on that another thing that they uh, totally screwed up in that patch is all of the four and five star animals are showing up as young so they're not adult they're not mature so uh, that's a problem. Oh. We just spooked a whole bunch of red deer because we weren't paying attention and we weren't... Okay. That's all right. That's all right. So, where do we want to go? I've already been up in here, so we want to go down here. So, let's just travel this way for a bit. And then cross over. So, I hope you guys have had a great week. I hope you're having... A good weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. I had a pretty good Saturday. Watched a couple movies with, with the wife that were pretty good. New movie on Netflix that was on uh, that came out yesterday. Uh, Me Time with, with Kevin Hart and Mark Wahlberg. Very funny movie. Enjoyed that a lot. And I finally got around to watching the new Predator movie Prey on Hulu. And that was, that was really good too. Okay, so we got Fellow Deer Treks. That's a good sign. So, I guess the big news in gaming, for like a channel like mine anyway, is Call of the Wild the Angler. <laughs> the uh, content creators got early access to it. So they've been doing a lot of videos on that. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm not really impressed um, don't get me wrong, I think the game looks good. I think it's probably going to be a, a fun game, but it's just not what EW said it was going to be. And, uh, for me, that gets annoying, you know? I mean, if the devs say it's going to be something, then it should be that. But, uh, you know, when I see a fishing game, hey, Venom 10. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're having a good Saturday. But anyway, back to the uh, talk about the angler there. You know, when I see guys and fishing with spinnerbaits, you know, not like inline spinners, like actual like bass spinnerbaits, and they're getting trout and salmon and, you know, perch and every other thing on it. It's like, uh, that's just a big turnoff to me. So what do we got here? We got a need zone here. Ready you're eating rarely. Okay. Okay, so let's uh let's continue our trek up into here. I'd love to see some animals just eating 
off in those clearings way over there. That'd be awesome. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen any of the uh, stuff on the Angler, but if you did, what do you guys think about it? I mean, it's definitely cool that it's an open world fishing game, but it seems really easy. And I mean, so far the content creators are just getting diamond after diamond. And the developers, they had said that diamonds would be really hard to get, that you'd have to figure out what, what lures to use for them, where to find them, and they're just finding them everywhere. Really unfortunate. So let's see here. Where are we? Okay, let's uh, let's mark this here. There we go. See what that question mark is. Hopefully, we'll get a campsite out of one of these. Ah, oh, damn it! See that? Oh, those are road deer. Okay, I'm not too concerned about road deer. Obviously, if we can get some nice road deer, I'll take them. But uh, I'm really interested in finding some decent red deer. That is the focus today. I will say the red deer models in this game look really good. Uh, let's see here. Can I... There we go. Okay, road deer eating often. So that's good to know. So we can come back here. Uh, you've seen some angle stream. Yeah, I know. It does seem like you level up really quickly in that game. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely not like the Hunter Call of the Wild where you, uh, you really have to grind for it. So I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing with that game. Like, obviously, it's an EW game. They're going to continually develop it. But I was really hoping that it was going to be in a lot different state than it is right now. And like I said, it's not even, they don't even have a date for console yet, so. Of course, that's annoying, but that's, uh, that's EW for you. Yes, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, guys, we have a Discord. I would love you to join my Discord. Uh, come in, we have channels for Way of the Hunter. We have channels for the Angler when it comes out. If you're on PC, you're more than welcome to join and, uh, you know, discuss things as well. And if you're away the hunter, I would love you to see you guys come into Discord and just share your hunting stories in game and share your trophy shots. And I would absolutely love to see what you guys are getting. Okay, so let's uh, let's start crouching here because we're coming up to something that may look interesting. Exactly, Venom. That's uh, that's a big issue for me, too, you know. Um, like, some of the pits and ponds that they're getting, like, huge largemouth out of and stuff like that. You know, it's like, come on, man. That's not... That's not cool. And, I mean, I get it because, you know, let's, let's face it. EW isn't exactly known for the most realistic, um, especially if it's in the Call of the Wild series. You know, if this was uh, the Hunter classic, the Angler, or I don't know, something. But the fact that it's in the Call of the Wild series of games, that kind of tells you that it's going to be more on the arcade side. But I didn't think it was going to be that level of arcade. You know, I mean, Call of the Wild, it's sort of like somewhere in between, I feel. And uh, the Angler, I don't know. Five star whitetail and five star duck. Yeah, there's a, there's quite a bit of the five star uh, birds I've noticed, but the uh, the more big game, not as common. Friday, I put out a video. I got my first five star. It was a uh, a mountain goat, and I can't tell you how excited I was about that. I cannot believe my first five star in the game was a mountain goat. Very cool. I have another video coming out later this week. And I get another five-star animal, one that I really wanted, and uh, it was it was a really cool all-around hunt. But uh, this game here, man, this is the one. This is the one I'm watching. This is the one I cannot wait to see where they go with it. I can't wait to see uh, what they add to the game and, and stuff like that. I'm I'm really excited for this game a lot. I feel like this game has just 
all the potential in the world right now. And I appreciate you guys stopping in and, and hanging out with me tonight on this Saturday. And I know that way the 100 is a little bit slower of a game, you know. So I do appreciate you guys hanging out here. Do we have water down here? See, this is the first time I've been down here. Okay, we do have water down here. Now, that's one of the things about this map. If we take a look at the map, it's so hard to see the water on this map. I'm not going to lie. And so we have the main river that runs up right through the middle of it. So we have lakes over here. We have little lakes, but like right here, if you look in here, right? I mean, we have a little lake down here. It does not look like water runs up here. Now, obviously, it is just a, uh, a tiny stream. But still on the map, it's, it's just almost invisible, man. You almost cannot even see it. Now, from watching the content creators, like, I know that there's a lot of water on this map. Finding it is difficult. I know some spots. But, uh, yeah, I really want to hunt this map more because the red deer looks so amazing. And the fallow deer, probably the best-looking fallow deer models I've seen in a game. Oh, man, this wind is horrible. That's not good. All right, guys, so what do you think I should do? Do you think I should head down to that little stream and see if we can get some need zones? Or do you think I should just head up over this hill? Hmm, I don't know. Well, we got a trail going down the stream. Maybe we'll check the stream out. See if we can find any need zones. Road here. We don't have nothing drinking yet. At least we shouldn't have. I'm going to take that 100 cents off because when I'm glassing around, I think it looks better this way. I I can just see movement and things more. So, yeah, let's head down to this, this little stream. I know the difference between this game and Call of the Wild is that I don't really feel the need to trophy hunt as much in this game. Obviously, we all want to get the big five-star animals. They, they look great in the lodge, but, man, I'm just happy hunting in this game. The, the actual experience of hunting in this game is just done so well. And it's so enjoyable. Let's, uh, let's stand up here. I was actually thinking of doing an F1 manager stream, and I don't know, depending on how I feel after we get done with this stream a little later on, we might do a late night F1 manager stream as well. Road, you're drinking often. Okay, that's nice. I like seeing the drinking oftens. You know, that's one thing you got to really pay attention to in this game, guys. You got to pay attention to the need zones, how often they drink there, because I've seen a lot of people uh, saying, you know, I don't get it. I go to a need zone. And I don't see any animals there. And first of all, there's no guarantee that the animals are going to be at the need zone. There's no exact time. You know, so for instance, in Call of the Wild, it's an exact time. Like if it says animals drink at 9 o'clock, they show up at the need zones at 9 o'clock. Uh, okay, Venom. The only problem with that is this, right? So let's, uh, let's go here, right? So we highlight this, right? It says show need zones. So it shows the need zone there, but it's not, you know, it, you kind of need that to see where they're going to be. Uh, hey, Dwell388. Look at the stream, man. First of all, are you on PC or are you on console? Because on uh, on console, the game's still working fine. There's there's nothing wrong with the game on console. Um, there is an issue right now after the last patch on PC. But yeah, like I say, on console is still pretty good. And on this map here, you had the main story, 
You're on PS5? Yeah, there's there's no issues with PS5 right now. I don't know. Yeah. No issues uh, on PS5 right now, but but anyway, the, the main story missions are on the Nez Perce map. But this map, it does have the missions to unlock... Let's go to the map here. To unlock areas, like this area here, this was locked. You had to do missions, or you could buy the pass. I would highly recommend doing the missions, though, because there's some really enjoyable missions on this map. Not going to lie. Yes, the blood is disappearing, but I, honestly, for me, it's not that big of a deal. It's not It's not game-breaking. Um, they still haven't fixed that yet. In the last patch for PC, they fixed it somewhat. They haven't fixed it 100%, but they managed to get it where it's not doing it as much. But again, they, uh, they broke a lot of things in the patch for PC. They haven't fixed it. They haven't beta testing right now. So I would imagine probably within the next week or so, they'll have the, uh, the next patch out for, for console. Totally agree, Dwal. It's it's literally my favorite game right now. You know, it completely knocks Call of the Wild out of the park. So now, I don't know exactly where these guys are, but they are kind of close. So we are going to test out this. So I, I changed it to the Hunter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it messed things up, man. It messed things up. So they added the, the FOV slider. They added key bindings. This here, so I'm in Hunter Sense. They drastically reduced this blur on Hunter Sense, which is a huge plus. I think that's fantastic. Um, but with the FOV, if you change the FOV slider, it, like, drastically reduces the FPS. So that's one bad thing. Um, another bad thing is that all the animals... All the four and five star animals are now showing up as young, which that is not how the game is intended. Um, they, uh, the devs went on their Discord and they said that a young animal should never be a three, four, or five star animal. So they kind of screwed that up. But Friday they released a, uh, a patch in beta. Um, and again, they, these guys are just so on it. Like when they screwed up the patch, everyone in their Discord said, you know, you should probably do a beta system to test these, and they went right to it. Hey, Joe, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good weekend. We're just here trying to sneak up on some uh, red deer. And also, I'm testing this theory. Yeah, people have thought that they got the adventurer and the hunter difficulty levels backwards. So the adventurer level is actually the hunter level, which is more difficult. And the hunter level is the adventure level, which is easier and should allow you to sneak up on animals a little closer. So we're testing that out today. We're on the hunter level. Uh, now, I prefer the adventure, and if it is more difficult and if they end up switching it, then I'll switch to the, the hunter level myself because I do enjoy that style of gameplay a little bit more. But uh, I do want to test this out. So if we could get closer to these red deer, then uh, I think we'll be doing good. Oh, 100% agree, Dwal. I 100% I agree. And just how quick they are to react and just, you know, find out what's wrong. I mean, I really hate to say it, but the game blows Call of the Wild out of the water. And these developers blow EW out of the water. Like, it is just so refreshing to have a game where the developers acknowledge problems, work on them, put out a hot fix, not make you wait five or six months to get things fixed i mean yeah these de these developers man they uh they definitely have a thumbs up for me so okay they went quiet now let me ask you guys what do you think about the whole camera system because personally i feel the developers want us to utilize the camera i really feel that way 
Um, I know a lot of people think it's it's cheating somehow, but again, if you're not playing a multiplayer and it's not competitive, why do people care so much about that, you know? Like, I feel you can play the game any way you want. If you feel going into photo mode to try to scout and see if there's animals out there is wrong, then just don't do it. You know, I, I that's what I think about it. No, no, no. She's still calm. At 109 yards. Okay, so that's not bad. What do we have over here? Oh, this isn't... Okay, the Silent Castle. Okay, so although this is cool... <laughs> this is actually very cool. It's just not what I was uh, hoping it was going to be. Uh, okay. Now, another thing that I... Another reason why I think... They want you to. So if we go into character, right? And if we go into perks, which one is it? This one right here. If you collect all Transylvania collectibles, 50% extended range of photo mode camera. Why would they want? Why would they give you that as a perk if they didn't want you utilizing that? That's just kind of how I feel about it. Like I said, I feel that everybody should be able to play the game however they want to. But uh, it's in the game, and I do feel the developers intended us to use it however we want. From a content creator standpoint, it's brilliant. It makes getting thumbnails so much easier. And yes, I agree. The uh, the bugs in Call of the Wild, you know. Although I would say that right now it's probably in the best state it's ever been. And I've been playing the game since since it came out on PlayStation. Um so I, I think it's in a good state now, but the fact that it took five years to get there, you know, that, that says a lot. I mean, in this game, the core game is good. The mechanics are good. Like, everything you want in the game is in the game working properly. So, like I said, I mean, I used to cover a lot of Call of the Wild content. Um... The developers made me stop. Not like literally made me stop, but I mean just how they treated the console community and stuff. It just, uh, it made me stop wanting to do content for them. So you know what, guys? <laughs> I don't, I don't care. We're going to do what we want to do here. So let's throw up the drone. Let's see here. Where are these deer? Oh, they're right there. Okay. So they're not too far away. Wait, are those red deer? Are those fallow deer? I don't know. I will say, like, from a distance like that, their, their walking animation and stuff is a little stuttery. But uh, from that distance, I'm okay with it. I'm not, I'm not going to beat them up too bad over that. A lot of the little bugs in this game, I am just not going to beat these devs up over, considering that there's a lot of things we Call of the Wild, especially multiplayer. Multiplayer has never been fixed. Hey, I appreciate that, Venom. I really do. The, uh, the F1 Manager game is a really fun game. It's definitely... A game for F1 nerds. I'm not afraid to say that because I am one. There's just... Wait a minute. What is... Red Deer spooked. Wait, there were Red Deer over there too. Those must have been the ones. Those must have been the ones we were hearing before, guys. Let's just take a look. Because they're spooked anyway, so they're, they're taking off. Where were they? They had to be right in the trees, which... I don't like that anyway. That's not my style of hunting. I don't like hunting in the, in the thickets, so that's all right. So wait, where were... Where were those other deer? They were out this way. We just need to get to this clearing. Everything takes so much longer in this game, but I really feel like the reward is just greater. We could probably stand up and, and walk because these deer on the other side of this clearing, I feel like they're they're a pretty good distance away anyway. Or maybe not. Wait, 
Where the hell were these deer? We have to... Okay. They're way over there. Yeah, I feel like they're a distance away. We may have to go down and back up again just to see these guys. But yeah, I may, uh, I may do an F1 manager stream tonight. Just a fun chill stream, you know what I mean? Oof, okay. What is that? Yo, the sounds in this game are so good. Oof. Keep falling there. One of the things I want to see in this game more than anything is a spotting scope. I, to be honest, I don't really care about binoculars with Zoom, although binoculars that got a little better distance would be good. A spotting scope would be just amazing in this game, considering that the render distance is so far. And it's so important to look at the animals to see, you know, where they are in their life cycle and, and how their antlers look and stuff is so important in this game. That a spotting scope is just imperative. And I really think we're going to get these things, guys. I really do. Because we have, like, three slots. Who the hell carries, like, two or three binoculars with them? I know I don't. Okay, we're going to crouch down now. Because once we get to the top of this, this hill here, we should be able to see what those are. And I'm not sure if those are red deer or if those are fallow deer. Either way, I'm going to be happy because red deer, fallow deer, that's, that's really what we're after. And on this map, I cannot wait until they add the brown bears. I cannot wait to see what the brown bears look like. Because I know some people aren't too happy with the, uh, the black bear models, but I think they look absolutely fantastic. Um, I heard one content creator say that he didn't feel that they looked fluffy enough. I don't know what the hell he's looking at, but... He may be, he's using his teddy, teddy bear for an example. I don't know. <laughs> but I personally think the black bears look really good. Not tried the map yet? Yeah, I get that, man. Oh, fellow deer calm. Then why are they running about? They don't look calm. Fellow deer calm. Hmm. I wonder, was that? I don't think so. See, I think that's the. I think that's the mistake. I think, like, it didn't catch up with them being spooked or something. There's a fellow deer right there. I can't get a spotting on it. Oh wait, 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 wait. A two-star mature. That definitely seems like a good one. Wait, how far out is he? He's 145. All right. Let's see here. Are there any other ones, though? Because maybe they were calm. I don't know. I need to check and see. Wrong button. Oh, okay. This is actually that hill the fellow were on. So maybe we did spook him. But where did they go? That's the question. Where did it go? We have the one there, which obviously he didn't spook. So we'll, uh, we'll probably end up taking him. And that's one thing I like about this game as well. Like, that's so different than Call of the Wild. Is that when you spook animals, they don't just come right back. Okay, so now we got to find him again. There he is, right there. Where is he? See, I need to get away from this tree. Um, let's kind of shimmy over this way. Because there is a weird thing about this game. There's weird hitboxes with tree branches and stuff. Okay, he's about... 
Let's just put that on. Got him! There were more in there, too. There were more in there. Because they are all running now. They were hiding right in those trees, guys. Oh, you got to love that. Definitely have to love that. He is booking it. <laughs> Look at him go. Yep, and now they slow up. Oh gosh, look at them all. Okay. Alright, let's go down here and do the fun part to track. And let's hope that the, the blood just didn't disappear. Like I said, the blood disappearing, yeah, it's it's a pain in the ass. And you guys will uh I'll see a heartbreaking moment this this week in one of my videos where I had that issue. But it's the type of thing where I keep playing the game. I know the bugs in there. You know, I keep playing the game. I can't stop. I'm, like, totally addicted to the game. So if I lose an animal here or there, so be it. Like I said, I, I have a lot of faith in these devs. I'm pretty sure that they're going to get it fixed. They'll have the game all sorted out. And, uh, yeah, it'll be great. I hear... Wait. Fellow deer, female sport. There was even more in there? Hmm. That's strange. All right, let's get over there, start tracking this thing. But yeah, I was on the uh, the, the Nez Perce map for a long time too, and I still haven't hunted this map a lot. The maps are so big, it's just so difficult. Okay, so let's see here. I think I see blood up over here. Yeah, good lung blood. So... I mean, you can actually track animals here. I showed this on one of my videos. So, you see where the blood is? There's like a huge blood splatter here, right? Then it goes off this way. So, it should either go off that way or that way. I'm not seeing any red. Let's turn on the 100 cents and see. And did it go this way? It did. Okay, so see? So that's uh, that's actually... That's good, because that's what I was talking about. When you see this there, you see that splatter. That's a good indication of the direction it went in. And we hit this thing good, so it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's bleeding a lot. Obviously, the better you hit an animal, the better the blood tracks are, so you're going to see it a lot better. Um, one of the things I will say, the sun. <laughs> when the blood starts to get into sunny areas, it's really difficult. Because if you look at how it lights up, it looks identical to the sun. So I know people were saying that they'd like to see it change color. I mean, I don't necessarily want to see it change color like they do in Call of the Wild. I don't want to see like, you know, like neon blue and, and pink blood splots uh, lighting up. But I don't know. I think they need to do something. Even if they have it contrast different. Oh, there he is right there. Even if they have it. Oh, look at this. Th this model is just so good. I mean, look at the detail. Look at the fur. Like, it just, I don't know. It. I know it sounds weird, but I mean, it looks like you could tell the fur is soft. They did so good with the textures on that. And I feel like that's where Call of the Wild lacks. And I mean, this deer, it looks like it was alive. You know, uh, the Call of the Wild models, they just, they look like, they look like a video game. I mean, they look good, but I don't know how to explain it. The antlers, look at the white tips. Absolutely love the detail they put into these. All right. Let's claim our animal here. Left lung, right lung. Watch that bullet cam. And I, you know, I was so skeptical when I first heard about this game, especially when they were saying things like bullet cam and stuff like that. And I was thinking, like, the older Cabela's games were, you know, when you shot and it would slow down time and show you the bullet going. I just, I did not want that in a hunting game. So I was just so happy to see that this is how they did it. And 
I actually like this a lot. I think it's really useful. So we made a really good hit. We were not far from that main artery, just a little bit further back there. We would have clipped that that main artery and he would have went down even quicker. Okay, so we have the overview here. He was at 81.9% on the genetics. So uh, genetically, he wasn't bad, but he did only make two star. Um, he may have had the potential to become a three star, maybe four at most, but like I said, I'm not really into the whole uh, building up the herds yet, especially on this map. I just want to unlock the maps and it's gonna take a long time. So what do we have here? We only lost about two pounds. And he scored a 318.9. Now, personally, guys, the, the scores, they don't mean anything to me. Um, the fact that they have, like, this um, universal scoring of all the animals, much like Call of the Wild did when it started, I'm not a big fan of this. I would much rather see some kind of more realistic scoring, like a Boone and Crockett system or something like that. So this scoring doesn't mean much to me, but I know a lot of people do like to see that. So he did score a 318 Point nine, very nice animal. We're gonna get 480 cash out of him. Oh, also, guys, with the update for the PC, they uh they kind of nerfed the economy system, so the money is not <laughs> as good anymore. Let's uh let's get these off here. We don't want those. All right, so it looks like we can just follow this river up where we want to go. So maybe we'll do that, guys. We'll just follow the stream or river right up. I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm an American. I would consider this a stream. I don't know what they would consider this um, in the UK or Transylvania, but uh, that's what I would consider it. West, north. Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure we're going in the right direction. So someone did point out in the Discord, and I do agree with this, that this here, that is too fast for walking. I, I wish that they would slow this down. Actually, this here, I feel like this is the perfect walking speed. We This needs to be the walking speed for crouched. Maybe crouched needs to be a little slower than this. No, you know what? I think this is perfect for crouch and standing, if I'm being honest. But this is actually the speed I would love to see for standing, because this here, this is like a fast walk. Okay, nice, man. You're from the UK? So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we would, we would definitely call this a stream as well. Definitely wouldn't call this a river. Now, do you guys say, say like, creeks, creeks and streams and stuff like that over there? I actually love the attention to detail in this, so just the down timber and the rocks. I mean, it just looks so realistic, man. It's like you just walk down any stream, and this is what it's going to look like. Again, got a little bit of pop in. I noticed that it's, it's a lot with uh, the rocks when you get in rocky areas just like this. Hey, Jeremy, what's up, man? Why do you not have... Oh, that's... Oh. God damn it. See that? <laughs> that's the thing about this game, man. Is like you just never know what's up ahead. So you really have to watch. And they are just taking off. I forgot to see how close they were. That's okay. We will pick up their need zone, though. Fallowdeer. Fallowdeer drinking off. And okay, wait, what time is it? Okay, so we are in drink time now, so we need to be extra careful.
you know, if I'm being honest, imagine if these guys made a fishing game. I don't want fishing in this game. Don't get me wrong. No more than I wanted to see fishing in Call of the Wild. But imagine if this team made a fishing game and put as much passion and dedication into a fishing game that they put into this game. Oh, my God. Those would be two games that I would just never stop playing. It would be constant this one and uh, the, way of the, the Way of the Fisherman, I guess. That would be a good name for it. So let's see here. This uh, this stream runs right down this valley. Trees all over there. There's probably trees all up and down down this stream. So we're not gonna get a good look at it. I'm almost curious if I I should maybe wait. Is that no? we got some urine here? What do we have here? Road here. Okay. This is, oh, wait, what was that? Ooh, okay, we have red deer. We have red deer. This is what I'm looking for. Adult male calm. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Oh, uh, that's, that's the road here. I, sorry, I just... That sounds so funny. It sounds like one of those crazy goats yelling. <laughs> so one thing I want to try, I want to try using the uh, the calls because I need to level those up. And uh, I haven't had too much luck with those. Oh, wait. That's a road deer. Okay, we had a red deer down there. Where the hell did he go? I need to get up higher. I, I probably should have crossed over. We may have gotten a uh, a better sight of view, but who knows? Hey, Jeremy, if you're still in chat, I'm thinking about later on tonight doing a uh, live stream for the F1 Manager game. Just kind of a chill, chill little live stream. My uh, Ferrari save got deleted, so maybe we'll go back into that. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's try the red ear caller here. Uh, it's it's so different from Call of the Wild, and I absolutely love it. This is something they severely had to fix. I will say, this is probably the biggest bug in the game that uh, I really have a hard time with. It's the uh, the constant stuttering. Yeah, there's there's so much to learn in that game. No lie. We're still jittery as hell. Let's see here. I don't think That's definitely not calling in any red deer, that's for sure. Wait. Nope. Okay, let's uh, let's see what's out there, shall we? I don't think uh, I don't think anything spooked. I just think they they moved on. Ooh, this is a very very tight valley. Hmm. I don't think you're gonna get a good vantage from either side, actually. Maybe from that side would be better. Yeah, I'm definitely not seeing any animals, though. I think they just uh, they just moved out. I don't think we spooked them or anything. They just kind of left, which is okay. 
Uh, yeah, Gunther's a pretty cool dude. I like Gunther. He's uh he's quite comical. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna cross here. Because we're gonna cross and we're gonna head up there and I think there's another decent clearing outside those trees because as you can see man this is uh yeah that's not gonna be good to see but yeah I feel like this should be the walking speed this would be a good walking speed you know compared to this Okay, what? I heard branches breaking. God, that's the worst, man. That's the worst. When you hear branches breaking, because that's what it sounds like when animals are fleeing, but uh, nothing's fleeing, so. And even if they were, I guess it's not that big of a deal because we wouldn't be able to see them anyhow. Now, see, stuff like this, we should be able to just walk over this, but instead we had to like jump over it, which to me is is just a little strange. We should be able to step over those things and not jump over it. And the only other thing I would say about this game, um, but I kind of feel that way about Call of the Wild as well. I feel the player models are just extremely short okay spooked he was down there he must have been right in those trees man cuz I didn't see anything why is this thing not doing Yeah, but unfortunately, you can't you can't just step over logs in this game. You have to jump over them. So something you just have to live with. So I want to move up this way anyhow, so we get a better viewpoint. One thing I do not like doing, I do not like hunting in the uh, heavy vegetation and a lot of trees. That just makes it really difficult. So we definitely... What the hell? <laughs> Got some wild toadstools growing there. That's pretty cool. I do know this valley opens up. I just don't know when. Let's take a look at the map here. I don't think this valley opens up till you get to here. I'm pretty sure there's a campsite here. So, we have quite a ways to go. Quite a bit of ground to cover. And again, I, I'm i kind of glad they, they fixed the blur with the 100 cents with that the patch that they're uh, going to have coming out pretty soon because I do feel this is really extensive and not necessary to have it blurred this much. A lot of the people that I think for some reason they think the graphics are good is because a lot of the YouTubers walk around so much in 100 cents that you're not seeing this, you're seeing this. And obviously, if you're just seeing this, it doesn't look good. But personally, I feel like this game looks as good as Call of the Wild, all, all the bit, if not better. I had to laugh because I was watching uh, Jaxie Beard's stream, and of course he works for Call of the Wild, so what do you expect? But like, I don't know if I can get it to, to do it. A... Yeah, because those fall on, but like, some of the leaves, when you get really up close to them, it kind of gets grainy. 
But I mean, it's like, you know what? You, you're really being nitpicky. Time to the HUD. Absolutely. That is something, yes, I really want to see that as well, man. So right there, you see how the uh, the leaves kind of go transparent and they get kind of grainy looking? Like, I've noticed a lot of PC guys are like, oh, I can't take that. I can't handle how that looks. It makes me feel dizzy. And it's like, are you guys serious? Like, I, I don't even know, man. I don't know what to say to that. I can't believe something like that bothers someone that much. It's like, maybe if you're that sensitive, maybe you should kind of figure out why. I don't know. Yeah, I agree, Venom. I think it looks a lot better than Call of the Wild, too. I think the animal models look better. I think their animations are better. Just the behaviors look so much better. I mean, I do understand that to, to a point that there's a lot of people that are just really loyal to Call of the Wild and EW. And I get that. that That's cool. You know, that's your favorite game. And I do feel like some people kind of feel threatened by this game. They, they think that it might take away something from Call of the Wild. But honestly, if you still actually love Call of the Wild, then you're probably not going to switch over to this game anyway. You can't go back to Call of the Wild now. Uh, I feel I kind of feel the same way, man. I mean, obviously, when they come out with new content, I may check it out depending on what it is. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't really see myself going back there. I mean, they do have like a ton of more content because they've been out for so long. But this game really has my attention. And more importantly, oh, 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 wait, what was that? Ooh, they're alerted. Okay. So let's just get down. This is what's cool about this game. Like, if they go alerted, if you just stop moving and chill out, they'll calm down. So I'm actually really glad that I, uh, I switched sides because now the wind's pretty good. That would be fun. I'm not that great at the game the game yet. But, uh, yeah, we might try that. I, you know, I was actually thinking that I wanted to go with Merc just to see. And uh, I do like messing with the car setups. What I found, and, I mean, we can talk about that more when I do that stream. But what I did find out is that, like, if you do a practice, have the AI do it. And then they'll kind of get the car a little bit settled. And then you do the next practice, and you can kind of fine-tune it a little more. Um, I, like I said, the last race I did with Haas, uh, we did Miami, and freaking Magnuson did fantastic. I couldn't have been happier. He came in P6. Mick Schumacher came in P10. And that kid, man, it doesn't matter. Like, even if he's happy with the setup, he's still just so slow. Okay, let's see here. See, the issue is, this isn't where I wanted to hunt the red deer. I wanted to hunt the red deer where the valley opens up. Um, this is just not my style of hunting at all, sneaking through the trees, trying to find these, and it's just so difficult. I mean, I could throw up the drone. Oh, okay, she went calm. My Miami was dry the whole time. Imola 
was a disaster. It was like it just got from bad to worse. And the AI, they do not like overtaking in the wet at all. I couldn't get them to overtake for anything. It was uh, it was pretty frustrating, especially there were times when they had absolute easy overtake, even in the wet, and they just would not go for the move. I had them on attack. I had them on push. I had them on deploy, and they just would not go for the move. So very... Uh, very annoying. Now, another thing with this game is that they don't really give you the ranges of the callers. And, you know, again, it's like that type of thing where I, f I feel like if you were hunting and you bought a caller... And, I mean, I used to work at Gander Mountain when they were still around, and I used to, um, oh, ooh, fallow deer. There's a little bit of everything down here. And I don't know where the hell they are. <laughs> 164 yards out, damn. That's not good. I feel like this game would benefit from tree stands so much, especially if they're going to put bow hunting in it. Tree stands would be an amazing addition into this game. Okay. He's calm. She went quiet. Now, the thing you have to be careful about is that if she spooks and he's far away, but if she runs towards him, she can spook him as well. So, I, I don't know, guys. Like, I haven't had a lot of success sneak out, sneaking up on animals really close in this game. See, now, he's calm at 164 yards. Now, if there's a ridge over here... God. Just look at all the freaking trees. Okay, he went quiet. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to sneak a peek. I'm going to sneak a little peek here. Oh god. They're right in the river. Um They're right in the river. Okay. That's all I wanted to that's Ooh, they're not going to be there. Oh god, there's a couple. Look at that one, guys. A couple of these freaking fallow deer are huge. Okay. Um, okay, I'm kind of headed straight for... Oh, boy. I don't know. The wind isn't bad. Let, let's try to maybe creep around this way. <sighs> Well, hmm. If we kind of move down around them and uh, move away from them and then kind of creep down the stream, maybe we can get something out of this. I need to keep looking back, though, to make sure <laughs> to not get spooked. Okay, I see the water. I can see the water from here. You know what's funny? Like, in a game, I don't mind doing this. In real life, I, I don't think I would probably have the patience for hunting. But I just love this aspect of it. I, I love the work that you have to put in to get the animal. You know what I mean? And this just, this makes for some really good stories. I had someone comment on, uh, on my video Telling me the story of how he got the, the Black Sheep story mission. And I just absolutely loved it, man. I absolutely love hearing the stories that come out of this game. Okay. <laughs> so they're kind of down here, I think. We're still quite a ways out. We'll 
just creep ahead. That tree just bent like I thought something was going to walk out. Not going to lie. Uh-oh. What's that? She's calm. She's calm. Okay. Okay. So what do you guys think? You, you guys have played this game. You guys have been watching the game. Um, I, I've seen some people say that they would like a, a noise meter in the game. It's kind of like they have in Call of the Wild. Uh, what do you guys think? Is that something that you'd like to see added to the game? Um, if it is added to the game, do you think maybe you'd be okay with it if they put it on one of the easier difficulty levels? Um, because honestly, I feel like that's a really good way to go. Okay. I feel like that's a really good way to go with this game. Uh-oh. What was that? What was that? God damn it. She's alerted. Oh, this is... This is not easy. This is not easy at all. But, uh, like, for instance, for the people that want the, uh, the blood tracking easier, um, they made it easier on the Explorer level. And personally, I'm okay with that, but I think a lot of people are going to be like, well, I don't want to go down a level. Uh, I want to play on the level I'm playing just to make the tracking easier. And it's like, well, what about the people that don't want it to be easier? You know what I mean? So I feel that that is a really good trade-off. You know, making it maybe a little easier on the easier levels, and then if you want it more difficult, just bump it up. That failure's calm. And she's alerted. Come on, man. How are you alerted? Look at, look at, there, there's... No line of sight to me. <laughs> Where the hell is this creek? Like, seriously? How am I getting closer to the deer and further away from the water? I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, God, okay. I'm, I'm getting close to an opening. Like, once we get a good opening... Well, I don't I don't think you uh, were watching from the beginning, Jerry, but apparently the adventure difficulty level, which is the second level, is kind of switched with the, uh, the hunter level, which is the third level. So the adventure level is more difficult, and the hunter level is easier. So once they get that straightened out... I'm definitely going to be hunting on the hunter level, but uh, I, I don't think I want to see the tracking get easier. So I think they need to just leave the hunter and ranger difficulty levels alone once they get it straightened out. And uh, the explorer and the adventurer, do, do what you want with. Do what you want with. If people want it to be like Call of the Wild, then, then so be it. Okay. I need to get to an opening, man. I need to get to an opening. I can't see them. What are you? Okay, Red Deer, calm. Look it. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, okay, man. But yeah, that's uh, they kind of got those two backwards. So I'm on the... Explo uh, no, the hunter level today. Just seeing if it is a little bit easier. And I, I kind of think it might be. Okay, I, I need, I need to see. This is ridiculous. Oh gosh. Okay, so wait a minute. I'm liking all this brush, so I need to... I'm still not going <laughs> to have a clear slate. Holy shit. Wait, what was that? I heard that. Road deer. Okay. Yep. Don't care about you. Let me know what you guys think about, about anything, you know? 
What do you guys think about this? Do you feel that the crawling is too slow in this game? Do you feel like crawling should be a little faster, or do you feel this is this is about right? Yeah, but like, uh, even even on Call of the Wild, you don't have to go through this extent on Call of the Wild. You can pretty much just run up on animals and blast them. This game, you just cannot do that. I kind of feel like this is the speed that you would be at for sneaking up on animals. I mean, you'd be pretty noisy, I feel like, crawling around any faster than this. Man, where? Okay. Ooh. They're right there now. Where the hell am I? Oh, God, I'm right there. Okay. <laughs> so. Let's pop up here. Let's just pop up. Ah. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I, feel, I feel that way too, Jeremy. I feel like it's pretty good. I'm just going over some of the things that I hear people kind of complain about. Okay, can I please just get a look at... Gosh. Ah, now I didn't want to do that. Wait, where the hell are they? See what I mean about how short you are? So I'm here. They're right over there, and if I stand up, I can't see over those bushes. That just seems a little crazy to me. God, those fellows are way over there. I, You know what? I would have to get... I don't even know, man. I don't even know where I'd have to go to see these. I have no idea. That hillside, that hillside would be the most ideal. That hillside. Um, oh boy. You know what? Let's, uh, okay, let's make some distance between us and them. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot. I should have been going like this. Oh, well. Well, that was a lot of time wasted. Honestly, though, this game is still quite the learning experience as well. I'm still learning a lot with this game. So they just moved down over there. You can see them. Yeah, I, I know you're spooked. I, I, I got you. Okay. Like, for instance, like that there, like, uh, positioning yourself. Like, I I figured out what I had to do to get the job done. I just, I screwed up by walking too fast. My mistake. See, I think it's stuff like that that a lot of people that are playing this game, they're blaming the game. They're like, oh, it's just, the animals spook too easy. It's, it's too hard. And it's like, no, it's, it's, it's something you did. Like, I take full responsibility for that. That's not the game. That's not a bug in the game. That's, uh, that's me. Knowing better. I took my time all that way. And then uh, I just got... I just got stupid about it. So... That's okay. Well, that's because we didn't know any better. That's because we were trying to play it... Realistically, with this game, they don't let you do that. It's not even an option. 
It's it, as you can see, they they spook. You make too much sound, they're gonna spook off, which is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. But when we started playing Call of the Wild, and you know this, Jeremy, if you spooked animals out of a need zone, they did not turn right around and come back. They would move on to the next need zone, and you would have to track them. You know, they changed all that just to make it easier because that's how people want to play it. Not me and you, <laughs> but a lot of other people. Okay, so... There's a bridge down here. Where is this bridge? I thought there was a bridge that crossed the water. Yep, I'm using the Ford Immortal a lot. I know, I get it. They moved out anyway. And again, I don't know, they're... Oh, there's a hunting stand. There's a hunting tower right there. So see, guys, this is another thing I'm saying. Um, the hunting stands in this game, they actually put in good, in good spots. They really did. Um, <laughs> so again, I need to figure out that hill, that hill right there. That hillside. Okay. Take a walk with me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's up there? Fallow deer. Yeah, oh boy. Don't start with me, fellow deer. I'm not looking for... I am looking for you right now, but we're not... We're looking for other things. Okay, so... Let's cross back. Let's go up there. Let's get a nice, decent shot. It doesn't have to be, you know, a 600-yard shot, but a couple hundred yards. I'm going to be happy with that. This game does long shots beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. No, 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 no. Okay. I was going to say, yo, if she is spooking. All right. So we're going to move up this hill. And hopefully we're going to be able to, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go a little bit slower here. We're already almost to that bridge. Let's just take a look. Okay. <laughs> so I, I can spot him with the uh, the binos, but I can't. I can't get a good look at him. Okay. So let's just continue up this hill. You know the thing I love about this game is this part of it. it it's. It's thinking, you know, what I mean, you have to think about where you're going to go. You have to think about, you know, how you're going to go about it so much more than in a game like Call of the Wild. And again, don't don't think I'm bashing Call of the Wild. I'm not. It's just a completely different game, you know, and if that type of gameplay is your thing, that's awesome. But if you're looking for just a, a little bit, I, I can't even say a little bit, but if you're looking for a lot more, a lot more in-depth, a lot more uh, even like strategy, and a lot bigger reward, I would definitely go with this game. Red Deer, now we got Red Deer up here. Hmm. See what I mean, guys? This is the thing. There's so much to think about. Like, are they going to move down to drink? Should I just let them? I mean, obviously, for the sake of the stream, you know, we, we want to do something. We want to show off something. But, like, if I was playing this game by myself, I would be thinking right now, do I let them just move down? Maybe there's a bigger red deer there, you know? I mean, that's a possibility. He did get closer. He did get closer. We are moving slowly though, so let's uh let's just sneak up a little bit. I mean you know, I don't know. To be fair, 
if he's moving down to the water, we have a pretty decent clearing ahead of us that he should walk right out in front of us. Mm. Malcolm, 218 yards. I don't know what it is, but I just love the sound of that. Two-star Dalton Mal. Ooh, look at him. He's just a two-star, and I mean, still, he looks... He looks good. I mean, that's a shot, guys. That is a shot. 273, he's... He's going the opposite way. That's a that's a uh, that's a shot. Nope. Wait, where did the mail go? Let's back up a little bit here. Let's back up a little bit. You know what? Let's try to get a little higher, a little more clearing here. I wonder how full he's doing on his catfish competition. That sounds like a lot of fun. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's take a look, guys. Wait, where did they go? I thought I just saw. I thought I just saw a bunch of them. No, nope, that's <laughs> that's vegetation. God damn it. You know, that happens in this game and Call of the Wild with me. I'll see like a plant or a rock. I don't think it's an animal, but it's not. Ooh, 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 ooh. There they are. There they are. God, okay. Okay, you just stay calm, buddy. What do we have? There's a two-star male. There's a two-star male. Um, not going to lie, that one looks a little older to me. It is hard to say, though. Yeah, yeah. If you see him, his neck, he looks like he's got a lot more gray in his neck than that one. But that one does pose the better shot. Well, he did. What did he do? Did he just bed down? Kind of looks like it. Where are they going? I'm driving Jeremy crazy right now. That's all right, though. Okay. I see the antlers. Oh, God. That would be a beautiful shot if that guard <laughs> wasn't there. Wait, do we have another male? Two star. Wait, we have three stags. Or two? Yeah, we do. We have three stags. Adult. Okay. I want that guy there, but I, yeah, he, he needs to turn around. He needs to turn broadside for me. I think that's the one I want. Look at the mess on his antlers. Or wait, is it that guy? It might be the guy in front of him. Yep, it's the guy in front of him. I think he's the older one. This guy looks pretty decent to me. I just need you to go a little bit more broadside, buddy. Can you do that for me? I don't think he's gonna. I mean, this is true to real life. You're not going to take a shot that you don't feel comfortable with. Why would you? That would just be 
Oh, no, I don't know, man. He looks pretty good. He does look older, too. Just got to wait for him to move. That's all we got to do. Come on, Mr. Red Deer. Give me a good shot. We could try a Texas hard shot, but, uh, energy. Actually, you know what? This is saying that our energy isn't good. 328 yards. I didn't want that. It's saying that the energy isn't good. That energy should be highlighted. Hmm. That's odd. With the 338, this should have more than enough power. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you bastard. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I think that was a good hit. I think that was a good hit, actually. He jumped and kicked. I'm happy with that. I, th I think it was pretty decent. Okay, come on, dude. We can pick up the pace. Looked like a good hit to me. Like I said, the one thing that this game really does well are the animations. And from everything I've seen, everything I've read, when you take a good shot on a deer like that, they will jump and kick. And that is what he did. Doesn't mean we got lungs, so we might have to track them a little further, but I'm pretty happy with that shot. Would have loved him to be a little more broadside, but it is what it is. Oh, we got deer running off that way as well. Hunting in this game is just so exciting. So much more exciting than Call of the Wild. But like Jeremy say, stated, you can make Call of the Wild pretty fun if you shut everything off. All the tracking, the spotting lines, shut all that off. And uh, it's not too bad. Let's see here. Hmm. Could be the dis... Nope, nope. He was, I was going to say, could be the disappearing blood thing, but nope, we got blood. Yep, yep, okay. Nope, that's piss. Here we go, here's some blood. So, I will say this. Um, when you're tracking blood, it might be helpful if... you could shut off the... Uh, all the other stuff because it, it is really hard to figure out where the hell this blood went with the need zones glowing. I, I will give you that. Um, Should have went this way? Is this? That's not blood. Because it's all glowing. <laughs> Wait, analyze. It's all glowing. I don't know where the hell... He went. There's going over there, but those are tracks. That's not blood. Let me shut this off and let's see if I can just actually see any blood on anything. Wait, what's that? No, that's not blood. God damn it. <clears throat> Wait, what's this over here? Is this blood? Ah, there we go. Not exactly the way I thought it was going, but we did find it. So now we just got to figure out...
Are these his tracks? Nope. Now, the funny thing is, when you're tracking the blood, it never shows you the tracks, the, the actual tracks of the animal. It just shows you the blood. So that makes it even harder. But like I said, guys, I wouldn't change it for the world. Yes, it's a little difficult, but I absolutely love it. Oh, there he is right there. There he is, guys. Red Deer down. Yeah, look at him. He uh, he looks old. See the coloring in him? I could be wrong. From what I've seen on YouTube anyway, it does. Ooh. Uh, he, he done snapped his leg right in two. Holy crap. That ain't good. Look at that. Those antlers look so good. Now, one of the other bugs that are in the game is that how the animal looks on the map and right now and in the lodge, he'll look this way. But in the harvest screen, he they don't show age. So let's claim him. Left lung, a little bit of right lung. And we got the uh, the artery from the cavity damage from the other uh, shockwave. Pretty cool. We were, ooh. We did, we, we even nicked the heart with the shockwave. If we would have just been, like, a little further back, we would have hit the heart with penetration. Very cool. Hmm. <clears throat> 90% genetics. And he was a two-star mature. That's, uh... That's odd. That's odd. Kind of feels like he should have had... Uh, wait a minute. Did this game... We didn't get an update for this game, did we? <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, we lost 175 pounds of meat with that shot from the 338. I really got to save up possibly for the 300. That is excessive. I mean, <laughs> wow. And now uh, the trophy score of him was uh, 318 for those that like keep a track of that. Okay, so we'll sell him. Wow, that's that's excessive. The 338 is crazy. All right, so let's uh, let's clear. Let's remove that. And let's put one up here. I believe that's a campsite. That's uh, that's what we want next. We want to get that campsite. The campsites are so important in this game. Yeah, the 338 is just super overpowered in this game. It does the job, though. It does the job. I was saving up for the, uh, the monoblock. That's like over six grand. Um, I got the 243 wood mag instead because I thought that would be better on the wolves and that just annihilates the wolves as well. So I really don't know what gun to use on the wolves that won't just completely destroy it. Is Guys, help me out. Anyone that hunts out there, is a 243 wood mag more powerful than a regular 243 because... You know, I'm not a hunter in real life. I have no idea about these things. You know, I like watching hunting shows. I like playing hunting games. But when you get into, like, ballistics and stuff like that and calibers, I'm not the most knowledgeable because that 243, it just decimates a wolf. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I want. Let me, uh... Let me check the game here. No, no, it didn't... It didn't get the update yet. Thank God. So that was strange that that mature had such... Such a high genetic... Rating and it was only a two-star. Usually anything that high would be bigger. But like I said, if I were to let him go, he uh, he could have had the potential to become probably a three or four, I would say. Maybe he wasn't as old as I thought he was. That's something that I still have to get worked out. I still have to, uh, you know, see more, play the game more, uh, kind of distinguish 
the older animals from the, uh, the, the less older animals. Again, a spotting scope would be so good for this game. And I'm running around without the 100 cents on, so I'm probably just spooking a million animals here. But like I said, I really want to get that, that camp slate unlocked. Oh, what do we have here? I'm guessing these are fallow deer. Okay. Oh, that was a that was a weird little glitch. Yeah, there is quite a bit of that in the game, but again, I'm not going to beat them up over that stuff. That's stuff that they can they can iron that out. I I still feel that the main mechanics of the game are good, and you know what? It's going to be just like Call of the Wild, guys. Like, when they fix things, they're going to break things. That's, that's how code works. So it's just something that we have to deal with. And even with Call of the Wild, it never bothered me that they, they broke things when they fixed things. It was how long it took them to fix the things that they broke. And with these devs, they're working hard on it. If they get the patches out quickly, if they get it fixed within, you know, a couple days to a week, I'm happy with that. You know, and I, I completely understand that there's a lot of things in the game that they can't just fix overnight. So, as long as they keep doing what they're doing, I'm uh, I'm completely fine with it. That wind is blowing pretty good right now, and you can hear those trees just creaking in that wind, man. Let me just check something real quick here, guys. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Okay. So that was us spooking the red deer. Again, I had no way of knowing that's, you know, they were going to be down there. I'm really trying to get to this campsite. That's what I want to do first and foremost here. You know what? Let's just kind of glass this valley here. See if there wasn't anything out ahead of them that we can see. Wow, where were they? Were they uh, in here? They're way out over there. Are you serious? Are there? No. Okay. So does this road... Yeah, this go. This road goes right... So I am thinking that this is a campsite. So we're going to run up here and we're going to grab this. This is a game that I definitely know Jeremy would just go sunrise to sunset. He would work this entire map. Take you a hell of a lot longer to get across this map than it would any of the maps to Call of the Wild, that's for sure. But then again, Call of the Wild has the watchtowers that unlocks the sections of the map. This doesn't. You, you literally have to walk or drive all over this map to, to uncover it. Ten a.m. to three a.m. Uh, no, you don't want to. You don't want to hunt at night in this game. That's something that I can tell you right off the bat. This game, you definitely would need night vision. Oh, you mean in re you mean in real life? I'm talking in game. In game, sunrise to sunset, you'd be playing. Oh, I was talking about in-game time, Jeremy. I wasn't talking about real life. No, no, yeah, you would spend a lot of time in this game. You absolutely would. I, I know you would. I mean, in-game, you would be, you would set it to sunrise, and you would hunt until it got too dark to see, which it does. It really does. 
I absolutely hated Night Vision and Call of the Wild. This game, if you want to hunt at night, which... Predators? I, I believe Predators drink at night. Um, it, it's difficult, man. It's difficult. Five a.m. to seven p.m. This map is hard to hunt at five a.m. because there's like a fog on the map and it rains a lot on this map. I'm not gonna lie. Like we're getting lucky today. What is the weather, by the way? Cloudy. Okay, it's gonna get cloudy, but the storms on this map are insane. Holy crap, man! The lightning and everything in this game is just second to none. Uh, wait. There's like a little path. Hmm. Let's see. Wait, is this a campsite? Am I going to be able to get up here? Why do they have a path with a big rock blocking it? All right. Yeah, that's one thing I haven't done yet. I, I, it's it's difficult to judge the time in this game. Ooh. All right, there's a path. Maybe this path will go all the way up. Sometimes you'll think you've given yourself enough time to get somewhere, and you really haven't. I would really love to see them put a clock on the HUD or have a button where you press the button and you show a, a wristwatch or something because having to constantly go to the map to check the time gets annoying. And it's really hard to tell how fast the time is in this game. Yeah, it's hard to tell in this game because, for instance, the time... Does it switch? Like, see, you just seen it there. Six minutes passed, but uh, it only it only does that when you go into the map screen. Hey, hey, we got a campsite. Lovely. That is what I wanted. Ooh, and we got a uh, got a challenge here. So, when I was little, my grandmother used to read me a story written by I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, there once was a cunning fox who pretended to be dead, only to be picked up by a farmer and thrown into his cart. Inside the cart, the fox stole all the farmer's fish. A bear found the fox enjoying his meal and asked for some too, but the fox sent him to catch his own fish using a method invented by the fox. He told the bear to dip his tail into the pond and to stay like that all night. The fox told the bear that if he stayed still, he would catch a lot of fish on his tail. The bear sat next to the lake quietly, even though he was shivering from the cold. He was convinced that the pain in his tail meant he was catching a lot of fish, instead of realizing that the pond had frozen during the night. When morning came, the bear tried to pull away from the water, but he couldn't as his tail was stuck in the ice. He pulled harder and harder until eventually he pulled his tail off and left it in the ice. He has been tailless ever since. Interesting. When I heard this as a kid, I felt very sad for the bear, and as I grew up, I started a hunting tradition to avenge him. During the night when the foxes are most active, and the bear was still hoping to catch a fish. We go into the forest and hunt fox instead. Feel free to join us in this little tradition. Okay, so I'm guessing they're going to want me to hunt, shoot and harvest five foxes between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Yeah, right. You betcha, buddy. That's going to happen. That is a really cool area. That is awesome. Okay, so let's see here. Where does this little trail go? Okay, we're going further up into the mountains. I don't know if I really want to do that. Uh-oh. 
things are getting spooked, right? No, that's just uh, the wind, I guess. Wow, that, wait, right there. Fellow, you're spooked. Okay. Whoops. I wasn't planning on hunting up here. But see, when people say there's no animals in this game, yeah, they just don't know where to look, man. That's that's really all it is. Uh, hmm. Man, I thought for sure this was a valley. Yeah, let's let's make our way this way. Hey, Paul, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Absolutely, I mean. That's why it feels more realistic, because the animals are just there. It's like they're actually living on the map instead of just, you know... Okay, these... Oh, speaking of... We have a deer running off that way. Oh, a couple deer. All right. Now... Obviously, they're spooked. We know that. What time is it? Oh, Jesus. It's 1.17 already. I should have known that. I just looked at the time. So, these deer should be eating rarely. Okay. So, this is a strange thing I've noticed. If we go into the encyclopedia, I don't even know if I have Felger unlocked. Uh... Yes, yeah, so, at 1 p.m., they should be resting. But yet, yeah, those were eating. So that's strange. So again, that's why I kind of feel like they don't necessarily follow a strict time on this game. Maybe it's like at 1 p.m. to whatever there's a better chance of catching them uh, rusting, but it's not necessarily exactly what they're doing. That's just kind of the impression I get from it. Now, they ran up that way. You know what? While we're here, we might as well just get this. So, Might as well just get that. Let's get that off the screen. Ah, we're coming into a part that I'm not fond of, all these trees. Exactly, Jeremy. Yeah, it really is. I, I, you know, and uh, the good thing is that even if you go to a need zone, it doesn't mean they're going to be there at that exact time. It doesn't mean they're going to come to that need zone. Even if it's the often used one, you might get a day where they don't use that. Or they might be further up because the need zones cover a lot more territory. That's just why it's just such a better experience all around. It just seems like they've done everything that Call of the Wild couldn't do in their game. Which is fantastic. Again, what you're seeing in, in these live streams that I'm doing right here, I am still exploring a lot of the map. Um, if I was in the Nets First Valley and I really just wanted to show you guys animals, I have places that I can go and hunt. Oh, one thing I should mention. There was a thing in the game where I guess if you skipped time, it would grow the animals. That's not how it's intended. So, with the last patch that they did for the PC, that kind of broke it. But we can look forward to when they do bring it out, they fix that. So, you can't skip ahead time to grow animals anymore. You have to actually, ugh, you have to actually put in the time to, uh, to grow the animals. Which, originally, that's how it's supposed to be. It's the actual hours that you put into the game that makes the animals grow, not skipping ahead time. New discovery. Empty cave. Oh, okay. 
empty cave. Well, let's uh, let's explore this cave. Not gonna lie, this would be the perfect area for them to to give us a jump scare. What? Okay. I'm in a cave, <laughs> and it spooked them. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I guess. I guess we're... In... Okay, that's a dead end. I was kind of hoping this would uh, bring me out somewhere, but it didn't, so... <laughs> that was just a waste of time. I guess running around in this cave would spook animals. That would be pretty echoey, I'd imagine. I could swear to God, I just heard like a deer bleat. But when I look, I don't, I don't see anything. Again, didn't want to do that. Let's see here. Okay, so I, I want to go back towards the valley here, which wind is not good. And again, we got to jump over those trees because we can't just step over them. Oh yeah, that wind is, is horrible. It's blowing right right towards the way we we want to go. So if we get back down to the stream, maybe we can cross it and get a higher point on the other side. See, I gotta I gotta jump over him again. Oh Jesus. I'm gonna have to be doing that a lot in here. Try to walk around them. This is such a cool area, though. It's weird because... I don't know if this is something that's been logged. I mean, they wouldn't just leave the trees there. Or if, like, a big storm came or something and knocked all these trees down. I have no idea what the weather's like in Transylvania, by the way. I don't know anything about that region. I think it's really cool that in the, uh, the lodge and... In the uh, the cabins and stuff on the map, they have they have garlic and they have crosses hanging up. I'm uh, actually curious. Is that like a thing in Transylvania? Are they kind of superstitious about like vampires in Transylvania? Again, I I think I heard something. Although I don't know why I'm really bothered by it. Like I said, I'm not gonna hunt up in here anyway. I would rather be able to see them from a bit of a distance. If animals get too close, it's kind of difficult because you can't unmount your scope in this game, which I guess I was told that that's, that's realistic because in real life you wouldn't just unmount your scope. So that makes sense. Yeah, I may have to research that. I may have to see if they're, uh, if they're kind of superstitious about vampires of Transylvania. I think that'd be cool to know. Or did they just do that as a kind of a... Uh, a little fun thing in the game, you know? These trees make so many creaking sounds. Uh... All right. There's the, the... Wait, does that river just... Does that river just end? Or is that... No, I think that's like a little like estuary or something... Yeah, I, I imagine. I yeah, I imagine that would, huh? Because then you'd have to probably recite it in. And honestly, I prefer that the animals aren't like right on top of me. Anyway, <laughs> I would prefer to take at least 
150, 160 yard shot on him if I could. Personally, 200 for me would be even better. So yeah, I don't necessarily like when the animal's like right on top of me. Hmm. It is so hard to see down here. The trees are so thick. I gotta get somewhere. Oh, oh God. Oh God, guys. Look at this. We have red deer right in front of us. How we didn't spook them, I have no clue. So. Ooh, look at him. That's a four star mature male, guys. Holy crap. That's a nice one. You know what? We're taking him. We are taking him, and we're going to take him with the 7mm, I think. There we go. We got him. Okay, we totally lost him. Couldn't see him through the trees anyway. He was a nice one. Now, again, guys, really, I probably should have left him. I should have let him grow. But again... I'm not too worried right now about the whole herd management aspect of the game. There's so much that I still have to get unlocked on this map. It's not even funny. Let's just, uh... Let's just see where they go, because they will calm down. That one only so far. Oh, God, look at this, guys. This is the spot. Get right up there on that hillside. Oh, yeah, this is going to be nice. Now, again, supposedly they're supposed to be resting. They definitely were not. That's okay. Let's, uh, let's get down here and see because... That should have been a good shot, but I'm using the, uh, the 7M and then 8 Oh, God. <laughs> Crap. We got Red Deer up there, and she's calm? Okay. Interesting. No, I definitely don't think that that's with this herd. That's going to make picking this guy up difficult if there's another herd over there because I'm going to get distracted by them. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Wait. No blood? Red Deer drinking often, see? That's a drink zone, but it's not their drink time, and... Did I not hit him? This does seem to happen quite a bit with the Red Deer guys, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait a minute. Did I miss Mark? Maybe I missed Mark because there's blood right there. And it's pink blood. I keep on check, checking out over there, though. I'm thinking maybe... Look at that. It's all on the leaf. So let's see here. Which way did this go? Kind of wrapped around this way? There we go. We found it. We picked it back up. We're hot on the trail. We just walked over that one. We walked over that one. 
let's just uh take a quick glass over there see if we can't see it. i i think that one that was over there she had to be with that herd maybe that was just a glitch saying it was calm or there could be another herd over there that i can't see yet okay there's the next blood I love it when it's like this, when you can just see it, the trail just lights right up for you. Another thing that I was supposed to be doing was using the uh, the red deer calls, but I, uh, I totally ignored that, didn't I? So, where is this next one? What is that down there? No, this is the need zone. So where does this blood go? Okay. Still going this direction. It looked like anyway. But I'm not seeing any more, so... Where did the blood go? There's blood there. Let's just stand up here. Slowly take a look around. Hmm. Ah, there it is. It's so weird because it's like, how the hell did I miss that? But it's, uh, it's easier to do than you think. Okay. Now where's the next one? Where's that next blood trail? Come on. I got some calm red deer over there. They're not going to be for long. Uh... Okay, there's the blood. Let's go back and see. I mean, it was going so good for for a minute there. All right. So yeah, it should be going out this way somewhere. Hmm. I'm not seeing any more blood. Wait a minute. Is this it? Okay, so we picked it back up again. That was weird that it... That is not the way I thought it was going at all. No, that's not it either. Tracking goes so well, and then... It just sort of goes in opposite direction than you think it was going. All right. There's the next blood. It looks like it should be Going out this way somewhere, but again, we had that one that looked like it was going one way and it went to the complete opposite. Oh boy. So it kind of flashes in a rhythm. I do not see the next. The next trail here. Let's just kind of move forward, I guess. And maybe we'll get lucky. Huh. 
Huh. Where the hell is this next blood splatter? So looking at it, it should have curved up this way. That's what it looks like anyway. What's that over there? There there's tracks over there, but that's that's not blood, is it? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh oh wait, wait, wait. Whew. Thank God. There we got more blood. Okay, so now where'd you go? This way. There we go. Ah, antlers. Whew. Boy. So glad to see that. Look at this one. This is a nice one. This is the biggest one I've gotten so far. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. Okay, you know what? We're going to... Take a trophy shot of this. Absolutely. Oh, God, I love this. So now, let me just say, guys, one of the things I see a lot, I'm going to make a video about this as well. One of the things I see a lot of the YouTubers doing that, I don't think they understand too much about cameras. If they want to lighten it up, they always change the time of day, which is fine because that gives you different lighting options. Of course, right? So it's like what? Let's say 2, 2 p.m., right? So right now, that looks pretty good. But let's say you just didn't like that and wanted to lighten it up. So you go over to this one here, and you go to exposure, and you just bump up the exposure, and that'll brighten it up a lot. But I kind of like the way it looks at this time of day. And uh, I think that's going to make a great shot right there. Beautiful. And I'm not going to lie, eventually down the road, I would like to see them put in different character models um, where you can change the clothes because as of right now, everybody has the same character and that's going to look pretty lame in, in multiplayer, I think. Let's pick this guy up and see what we got. Left lung. Shot distance 130 yards. So now we did take him out with 7mm08. So we should have done a lot better with the uh, the meat on this guy. Let's see the overview. 89.03. So I don't think he would have probably made 5 star anyway. 503.68 pounds, 772 cash. Yeah, we only lost three, not even three and a quarter pounds of uh, of meat there, so that is awesome. And he was a 429. I think 450 is what it takes to be a five-star. So he had a little ways to go. I'm happy with it, though. I'm happy with it. Now, we could use the money, but if I'm being honest, guys... I am going to taxidermy this guy. He is going into the lodge. What a beauty. And this here is going to be my favorite spot, I think, to hunt red deer. You can't overhunt it, though. We can't overhunt it, so we got to be sure to not do that. So we need to head north. I think I'm going to stream till nine with this guys and then uh probably around 9 15 or 9 20 we'll set up a live stream for the the f1 manager game i 
I thought I heard. No, I guess not. I saw I heard fallow deer or something. Wait, are we going the right direction? Yeah, we are. I, I kind of want to get over on the other side, maybe. So yeah, let's just kind of work our way down here. Because this just opens up so nicely. You'll be able to see such a long way away. Ooh. Got a nice waterfall down there. I actually love the moving water in this game. Love the waterfalls. I love the way the water sounds. Personally, I don't feel that the, uh, the water sounds need to be tweaked. I don't think they need to turn them down. I think they're perfect the way they are. Maybe if they could just add the water sounds to a slider. I've heard people complain about the ambient sounds too, like the birds are too loud, and it's like you're outside. Like that's the best part of the game, in my opinion. And just the exploration of it, like just the not knowing what you're going to see over that next hill like that waterfall you know what i mean it's just it really makes me happy take that off for a little bit here Ooh, what are we... just so we can see the game outside of that blurriness. I will say, though, guys, like, if, uh, like, I'm on PS5 right now, the stream on YouTube doesn't do this game justice at all. Anytime you stream games live on YouTube, it makes them look like crap. But uh, if you don't have the game and you're really curious about what the graphics on PS5 look like, go check out some of my videos because I do upload my videos in 4K. <laughs> look at this, guys. We found him again. He's a one-star adult. We found more red deer. Oh, I'm loving it. I am loving it. What is that there? What am I... I know there's... Okay, there's two of them back there. I was going to say, I know that... There's another one. How far are those? Oh, 152. Hmm. That's a one-star mature. So... Let's see how this works. So that one star mature should be interested in the call. And he doesn't look like he is at all. Wait, is he is he 245 out? Maybe that's why. Damn, I don't know how far they are out. I can't get really good on it. And I I don't know how far these callers ranges I definitely want to take out that one star adult because we don't know a one star mature he would definitely be called from the herd hmm that's going to be difficult because they are right behind those trees I wonder, I wonder if I got, 
planted to that tree line. Wait a minute, let me find them again first here. Where were they? All right, they were out this way, weren't they? Yeah, right there. A three-star mature. Where did he come from? Ooh, I didn't. I didn't see him. Okay. Okay, we have others. So there's a little northwest. That would be a good shot, but I don't want to take him. He, he may grow into something bigger. That one-star mature male is more along the lines of what I want to get. Mature. Where are you going, buddy? They're calm. Okay, they're just they're moving. Let's just watch them. Love this aspect about the game that you just you can just watch these guys and see where they go. Oh, if they come up over that ridge, that'll be perfect. Is he one fifteen? Hmm. Let's try it. The females shouldn't be coming in. That it's supposed to attract low fitness level males. <laughs> We're getting the vocalization back. How cool is that? Because we need to sell. Okay, they're they're definitely coming this way. Where's that other stag? There he is right there. He's a one-star adult male. The fact that he's coming in makes me feel that he is a uh, low fitness. One-star mature. There's the one-star mature. That's the one we want right there. That's the one we want. See what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking I'm just going to kind of... Maybe hang out up here. Yeah, that's something to do. Two star mature male. Wait, where did he come from? Three star mature. Wait, where? Okay, where are these deer going? That's what I want to know. They're going to be close. I want that one star and I'm not seeing him. I'm seeing everything but. Is that him? I can't get a spot on him. No, three star. Where did that other herd go? Wait, wait. There he is right there. There he is right there. Wait, how far out is he? Okay. Oh my god, look at this, guys. We got him. Come on, lay down. Oh, the game froze. God damn it. Well, hmm. 
Let's put a marker there. And I think we should be able to see where that blood was from here. Yep. Right there. All right. Nice. We got another one down. Fantastic. You know what, guys? I'm glad I got this on, on a live stream because that's what I mean. Like, I just sat up there completely still. Now, if I was moving around, it would have completely spooked him out. But if you just sit still, even in crouched, and I wasn't even behind any bushes or anything up there. I was just sitting there completely still crouched on that hillside. And uh, they, uh, they were coming right into me. Patience. Patience is a, uh, a virtue in this game. You know, I feel like a lot of the people that are coming from Call of the Wild kind of don't get that, which is cool. It's going to take some time, man. It's going to take some time to figure it out. Okay, so I thought I saw the blood fairly easy from up there, but then once you get down here, it's like, uh, no. I thought the blood went up this way. There's his tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the blood. And he kind of went around here. What I really like doing is trying to find out exactly where he dropped. Down, but we couldn't do that. I don't know because the game froze. If the game went to froze, we would have probably seen exactly where he dropped. I don't know if he made it past those trees or not. But uh, it would have been interesting. What? Wait. Is that the blood? Is that blood or is that tracks? No, no, no. It's blood. It's, look at that. How cool is that? It's on tree branch. God, that is awesome. Yeah, he curved around here. It's going right straight towards my marker there. And like I said, I don't know if he... Uh, Made it past those trees or not, we'll have to find out. Okay, here's the next. Oh, there he is right there, guys. How do you like that? So, my marker. Where was my marker? My marker was there, 9.3 yards away. And he's literally right there. Oh, God. Wait. Hello. Two-star mature. There's a three-star. Okay, so this is his same herd. They just move on to the next zone. But I'm not going to take any more of those guys. I'm not going to be greedy. You couldn't do that in real life. You wouldn't do that in real life. Well, maybe some people would, but I, I definitely wouldn't. All right, let's pick this guy up. I love the size of the animals in this game. Like, I don't know. It just feels like the scale of them compared to you, they just nailed. Take a look at those antlers. All right, let's claim them. Right lung. We got a little bit of liver with the penetration in that, so... All right, not too bad at all. Overview. 85. 85 genetics. He was an adult? Oh, crap. Oh, we got the wrong one, guys. We got the wrong one. I wanted to get the one-star mature, and we got the adult. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, usually a 2-2-3. Damn. He, uh... 85%, he, he would have been a decent one. Ah, mistakes were made. Okay, we'll sell him. So now, where did they go? Is that One Star Mature still there? Yes, that's the One Star Mature right there. And what is that guy? Two Star Mature. I'd still like to get that guy. 
So curiosity. I mean, if I could just get him to turn, that would be decent. He's like, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How far is he out? It's about 191. Let's just see here. Shot him too low. Shot him too low. Wanted to try to maybe get a hard shot on him. But uh, I think we definitely shot him too low. Okay, let's let's go take a look at that. And then uh, pick him up or see what happens with him. And then we'll head to the trophy lodge. And we'll mount that, that big stag that we got. And then we will call it a stream, guys. And then if you want to, you're more than welcome to come back in about 20, 25 minutes where we start up a uh, F1 manager stream. You can still come out and hang out and chat if you want. I definitely don't feel good about this shot. It was way too low. I was kind of hoping to get a hard shot. I don't think that happened. <laughs> he would have went down. I'll be lucky if I got a lung. Well, uh... Let's see. Red, small amount of blood, clear. Wait. No, that's piss. That's blood. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, maybe if there was a way that they could do it where when you track the blood, only the blood shows up, that might be better. Definitely, there should be like, um, oh, I know, like, what if when you examine the blood, right, well, you go into Hunter's sense, what the hell? Come on. You go into hunter sense, but like going to like a tracking mode where it at least shuts off the need zones. Because the need zones make it really difficult. Wait, I thought it went that way. No, it went this way. Right? Yeah, it went that way. Then did it go in those trees? Oh, God, it did. That makes it... That makes it harder. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see it. I see it. You really just have to have your wits about you when, when you do the tracking. It should have gone... Wait a minute. Did it go this way? <laughs> did it go back down? So I do apologize about this taking so long, guys, but fortunately, it's just the way the game is, man. You know, tracking is just really tricky. So let's take a look at this blood spot. Wait. Okay, there it is there. So it should have went that way? Hmm. So if I'm looking at this, it looks like... It should have gone up in here somewhere. 
Well, let's just move forward here and see if we find anything. Wait, what's this here? Okay, we found it. We found it, guys. We found it. Wow, on these hillsides, it is really difficult. Really difficult to see. I'll just move forward a little bit and check around. I don't want to spend like a ton of time tracking him since he was just a, uh, a one star. And he'll stay on the map anyway. Okay, here we go. So I definitely feel like that's another cool feature in the game that probably doesn't get talked about enough. If you kill an animal and you don't find it, it stays on the map until you find it. It won't despawn. It won't disappear. It stays on the map. Red Deer, calm. Okay. Oh, gosh. What is that? There's another Red Deer there. Jesus. Three star mature male alerted. So you can kind of see that he looks older. See the marking on his fur? How he's got some like uh, dark uh, patches on him? And he's got that fur. But we don't want you. Okay. Wait. What is this? That's not, that's just tracks. God damn it, where did the blood go? Okay, here's the blood. I'm thinking it's going to lead us right down to where these deer are now, actually. Yeah, it looks like it. Which makes sense, because that's where he went. I do kind of feel that this three-star mature is probably past his prime. Wait a minute, is that? That's not blood. Male calm. So I do kind of feel that this, uh, this adventure... One is a little easier because they haven't spooked yet. So let's see if we can't get close to this guy. Maybe just take him out with the uh, the three three eight. Cause, like I say, I do kind of feel that he's past his prime. I don't think we're going to get him though. Let's see here, where is the rest of this herd though? I've lost the blood. He's got to be over here somewhere. He has to be. So where the hell did this uh I don't want to get off. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Thanks for that. Okay. Now I didn't hear this red deer that was over here to spook. But there's no way he can still be over here. There's no way. 
Where the hell did this blood go? Yeah, I swore he was right over this ridge. There's no way he could still be over here. Surely he would have spooked by now. Yeah, yeah, this this had to be where he was. I don't. He's gone. He's gone. Hey, kill switch. Look at the stream, man. Uh, I have no idea. I haven't heard of anybody. So I have no clue. Okay, so that one's gone. So I guess... Hmm. You know what, guys? I think we're going to head back to the lodge. And uh, maybe we'll stumble across him some other time. Oh, nice, man. Uh, Romanians are very superstitious to follow many old traditions. Uh, okay, cool. Thanks, Paul. So, so that's, uh, that's realistic. Awesome. So just before we leave, I am going to throw up the drone here. Okay, so it says they were up there. Down there. Oh, wait, wait. I think I see him. I think I see him. Um, yeah, yeah. There they are. Well, no, it's, it's the photo mode. I mean, you might as well say it's a drone, though. You haven't played in about a year? Uh, this isn't Call of the Wild, man. This is, this is Way of the Hunter. This isn't Call of the Wild. This, uh, Way of the Hunter hasn't been out that long. It's only been about, uh, a little over a week now. Oh, good, man. Okay, so I don't see any red deer up there. They were down there. That's probably where that uh, that three star mature went. I would imagine. All right, I just wanted to check that out. Let's uh, let's head back to the lodge. Look at, let's clear all these. Definitely going to be hunting back up there again. But guys, look at this. <laughs> I, I have nowhere near this map unlocked. This is insane. Just insane. Let's go back to the lodge. Well, that's unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, so this this here is from one of the videos that we shot. Guys, this is not a big deer, but what I went through to get my first red deer trophy was just... I mean, you got to see. You got to see what I went through. Uh, check out my, my next two videos coming out uh, Monday and Tuesday, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, I had to mount this guy just for the memory just uh, everything I want you to get my first red deer, find him. So that's why he's there. Um, let's see here. This four star, I feel like he would look good on on a multi mount. Not a multi mount, but a uh, this one here. So let's see here. It's like diorama. Two thousand dollars. There goes there goes more money, but you know what? It's worth it. Ah, there he is, guys. Look at that. They look so good. They look so good. See what I mean about his fur? See, see the, uh, the patches on his fur there? So the more patchiness they get, 
Um, they'll be older. Now, his neck isn't as gray as I thought it was. Now that I'm looking at it, let's uh, let's do the photo mode here, and let's try to brighten this up some. Not contrast, exposure. Yeah, yeah, now that I look at it, his neck is not as gray as I thought it was, so he probably had some life left in him. Um, look at the antlers on him, though. They look so good. God, the, the models in this game. I will say the, uh, the waterfowl don't look great, but all of the big game animals look so good in this game. Absolutely gorgeous. But, guys, that is where we're going to end this stream. Like I said, feel free to come back. In about 20, 25 minutes, we're going to start up a stream with the F1 Manager. That game is in everybody's cup of tea. I know Jeremy will be there, but uh, it is a fun game, so we're going to check that out. Uh, stop by at least to say hi if you want, and uh, thank you so much for coming out today, guys. This was a really fun hunt. We will see you next time. But until then, happy hunting, guys.